Good morning, folks. On this week's installment of the lesson series, we are going to look at the slide guitar style of Mance Lipscomb, known for that monotonic bass and he's from down in Texas. Um, the great thing about him is that he played with a pocket knife, and I find that super interesting. But anyway, to get started, this guitar is tuned in vestipole tuning, or open D. Uh, Mance also tuned in vestipole tuning. His was open E, so he tuned up, I tuned down. Mine is from the thickest to the thinnest string, D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Now, before we get into all the specifics of how he held the pocket knife and everything, I want to tell you, I learned this by watching YouTube videos of him playing it. Uh, most specifically, I think there's one floating around out there on a song called Jack of Diamonds. Today, we're going to look at Titanic, and next week, we'll look at Jack of Diamonds um, and just show you, and that way, maybe you can get all the facets of his slide style um, and the way he did things. So, you know, he's known for that monotonic bass or... Okay, in Titanic, he mostly just plays that bottom string, the sixth string. And then he plays over the top of it. That's pretty much the whole song. So let's just talk about it and talk about what he does. The first thing is um, the way he holds the jackknife is he sort of fists it like this to where a lot of it's sticking up above his hand. And then it looks to me like he's riding his hand along the bottom of the neck. And that gives him some control with the slide. <laughs> And only, not often do I see him play anywhere other than the top two strings, okay? Um, all right, so he kind of fists it like that, grabs it, and then lets his knuckle, his thumb knuckle, ride the bottom of that neck. Now, that may or may not actually be the truth, but that's how I do it, and I've maintained control over the slide that way. Um, it's kind of a weird thing to do, but let's go over it. All right, so... All that is, is on the first string, open, third fret, open, fifth fret, fifth fret, fifth fret, third fret, open, third fret, fifth fret. Okay, so. All right, second part of that is up at the seventh fret. Seven, 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 five, and sliding from three to four. So. Same thing again. But then. All right, and all that last little tag is, is seven, Five, seven, five, three, open, and then five on the second string. Now that one's kind of weird to get um, because then you got to like make sure the back, because the back of most pocket knives has a little arc to it, right? Most of them do have just a little arc. Um, and so sometimes when I'm doing it, mine does, you have to kind of bring your hand up just a little bit so it gets a little weird sometimes I guess is what I'm saying all right so back to this is on the top string, third fret, open, 
and then third fret open, third fret open, and then fifth fret on the second string, and then he comes into the third fret again, and the fifth fret on the top string, and then twelfth fret. And all that is is five, seven, five, three, up to four, and then open. Okay, so he goes. And then, at the end, he just goes. Which is just seven, open, five, open, three, five, three, open, and then on the second string, five. So you can see it's a pretty simple uh, line. Now, let's talk about how can you get good enough with this thing, which I'm not great at it yet. How can you get good enough with a pocket knife to play and have it sound like that? In the first place, your expectations have to change a little bit. By that, I mean this. Here's a regular glass slide like I used. If I play this with a glass slide, it goes. So I can do more with the glass slide. I'm more used to it. And because I can mute behind it, my notes are very clear. You hear that? Now let's play that same note with the, the pocket knife or the jackknife. Hear that? And when you listen to Man's Lips and Slide, that's part of it. That's part of his sound. And it's because here he's not muting behind the slide. He's just... So you're just going to have that, and that's okay. Um, some people I've seen try to do this and try to put a finger behind it. I find that very difficult. So I just fist it up, grab it, throw it in my fist like Man's Lipscomb did, and say, you know what? That's just part of the sound. So that's one thing you realize. Now, how can you develop accuracy with this, you know? Well, you can use the same types of exercises to develop accuracy with a jackknife as you can with a slide. So do you remember I put up a quick lick about accuracy and it was All right, it's not going to sound the same. It's not going to sound as clean, but you can develop accuracy that way so that you can do things like Some things are harder to do, some things are easier to do. So here's an exercise. You wanna to go to the 12th fret, and when you're placing a slide on a certain fret, you wanna put it right over the fret, okay? Not behind it, but over it. I saw a video on social media last night where a guy was playing and everything sounded a little flat. Well, it sounded like that because instead of playing here, he was playing here just a little off so if you want it to be pretty exacting try to get it right over the top of the fret so you're gonna go 12 10 open 9 open 7 open 5 open 3 open 5 open 7 open 9 open 10 open 12 and you don't have to vibrato it I just do that almost out of you know just the gut reaction to getting a slide sound. I'm so used to vibrato. 
Um, so. Now, if you heard that, that's one thing you can add to thicken up the sound. And that's where you play the top two or three strings while you're doing this, just simultaneously with the melody line. So those are all different things you can do to thicken the sound, to spice things up a little bit, to make it different. Uh, Mance Lipscomb, go listen to his recording of the Titanic, or sometimes it's called God Moves on the Water, um, depending on what source it's coming from online. Um, Blind Willie Johnson did the same tune, it's just he didn't play with a jackknife to do it, and he wasn't Mance Lipscomb. So, and I love Blind Willie Johnson too. I'm not saying that Man Slipscomb's better or worse or anything or either one of them. I'm just saying that this is his slide, his slide style um, and not somebody else's. So, get a pocket knife, get a butter knife, get something and just enjoy this instrument. Explore it. Look to the masters to see what they've done. And then see if you can incorporate that into your style. I love Matt Slipscomb's slide style, even though it's dirty. It's kind of like that down and dirty Texas blues style, which is fantastic. So take it, practice other slide licks. Do all kinds of stuff. All right, so next week we're going to look into Mance Lipscomb's slide style on Jack of Diamonds where he actually incorporates some chords. All right, folks, so enjoy this, run with it, and I'll see you next week.